some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Pimpy. Article quote, American diplomat James Jeffrey, Trump's model will continue in Iraq and Syria, unquote. This article is long, but what it does, it goes on to explain that the way Trump approached dealing with the Middle East obviously was nothing like prior administrations. He would go down to the ground level and speak directly to those who were boots on the ground and from there make his own decisions. It worked, obviously. All right, article quote from Pimpy. As well, the foreign ministry talks about its measures to remove Iraq from the list of money laundering, unquote. This is good. They need to get off the list. There's all kinds of sanction and penalties with Iraq for being so corrupt over the last couple decades. They're really starting to get their ducks in a row. We want them off this list. That's a good thing. Ray Ren 98 Iraqi TV reports that the finance minister has revealed that the 2021 budget will be compromised of borrowing 63 trillion from internal banks and 23 trillion from external banks. The 63 trillion will be supplied by the new exchange rate. It will go from trillions down to billions and the 23 will come from investors outside the country. Congratulations. Parliament is having a meeting today to discuss setting the date to pass 2021 budget law. From trillions down to billions is dropping the three zeros and increasing the exchange rate. All right, Mark Z via PDK, there's plenty of chatter coming out of the Iraq on auctions, bills, the change of value. They plan to revalue and release the lower denomination bills, buying up the higher denomination bills off the streets. Very good stuff coming out of Iraq. Some of our military sources are getting excited because they are also dinar holders. They're anticipating a change in value shortly, days to weeks. That is what they're expecting at this point. In my opinion, everything is watching to see how this week unfolds. All right, foot forward. Right now, there isn't a ton of RV talk uh, to talk about. I'm sorry, there isn't a ton of RV info to talk about. Iraq is basically going in circles. I suspect they will keep doing so until Iran is dealt with. They aren't holding because of Iran. There is something that needs to be broken with Iran. 